Dr. Laura Berman on Love Notes. I'm taking all your questions about anything to do with love, sex, relationships. So one of the common questions, just got asked it last week, is met an amazing person, we've been dating for a while, I think this may be the one, but I've made mistakes in love before. How do I know that this one is a keeper? Okay, I'm gonna tell you the five signs you're looking for when you think you found the one to know that they really are the one, okay? First, you agree on the big three, sex, money, and religion. And I would even throw in politics in today's day and age, but most importantly, sex, money, and religion. So are you kind of on the same page with the way you manage those things, feel about those things, your philosophy around those things? Because if you aren't, then you are gonna have a lot of problems in your long-term relationship. You're gonna to have to navigate through a lot of differences that are gonna come up in lots of different ways, especially if and when you have children. Number two, do you have a shared vision of the future? If one of you wants to go and live in the woods, you know, and, and live off the grid, and the other imagines traveling the world and living a year in Paris and in every major city, even though there might be great chemistry and other great things about you, you're not gonna necessarily make it for the long term. Now, we don't always know what the future is gonna hold or how we're gonna grow into ourselves, but if you're an adult when you get together in your mid to late 20s, when your brain is fully developed, you kind of have a sense of what kind of future you wanna build and you gotta be on the same page with that. Another big thing you're looking for is how do you communicate? Are you able to tell each other when something's bothering you? Are you able to ask for what you want and be heard and be attended to? Are you able to resolve conflicts in a healthy way and uh, be open with each other about what you need and not necessarily fight in a toxic way? Like, do you know how to argue and are you both able to communicate how you're feeling and share how you're feeling? If I have to highlight anything, it's that, that is so important in a long-term relationship. Of course, you have to have passion, right? So I get this question all the time. This person has everything else on my list, but I'm not that attracted to them, right? The great father, great person, great human being would be great to move through life with. Is it okay if I'm not really attracted to them? No, it is not okay especially if you want a long-term monogamous relationship. That person who you are settling for, for deserves to be in a relationship with someone who is crazy about them and can't keep their hands off them, and you deserve that too. Don't think you're gonna have a long-term monogamous relationship that's healthy and happy if you aren't attracted to them. It is not gonna work. And finally, the fifth thing, pretty obvious, but it's always amazing to me, uh, how people don't consider this when they're deciding whether someone is the one, are they ready to commit? Do they think you are the one and are they ready to make someone the one? Do they ever see themselves ready to get married or make a long-term serious commitment where you really invest in it? Or are they someone who's been hurt so much in love or doesn't believe in that? So you can have all those other things in common, but if the timing isn't right, and you both don't want that commitment, do not settle for less than you deserve and think you're gonna somehow convince them by sticking around another five years, okay? Hopefully that gives you some guidance to at least be able to determine whether the one you think might be the one really is. You make sure to let me know what you think in the comments and don't be shy, ask any questions, I'll answer them on Love Notes.